On April 26, the U.S. State Department called on China to free Gudon Choiki Nima, a spiritual figure of Tibetan Buddhism. In response, the Chinese Foreign Ministry attacked the 14th Dalai Lama, Tibetan Buddhism's exiled leader and Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Guinping, quote, 27 years ago, when the Dalai Lama was abroad, he took the liberty of declaring a child as the reincarnation of the Panshin Lama, to carry out anti-China separatist political hype to the detriment of religious rituals. That is false. In fact, choosing the Panshin Lama was the Dalai Lama's ordained role. It is China which invaded Tibet in 1950 that hijacked this long tradition. In Tibetan Buddhism, Lamas are living Buddhas, enlightened spiritual teachers. The two highest are the Dalai Lama and Panchen Lama. For centuries, the selection of Lamas happened under rituals to identify reincarnated successors. But in 1995, the Chinese kidnapped Gudun Choikinima, a six-year-old who the 14th Dalai Lama named as the next Panshin Lama. As cover, the Chinese then resurrected a Xing dynasty law. Using a rigged golden urn ceremony, they named their own Panshin Lama from a loyal communist household. Meantime, Gudun Choikinima hasn't been seen since.